But we also find a situation that the government is a shareholder of Petronas. So I was thinking in my mind, how do I put across this relationship between the government and Petronas? What would be the best analogy to encapsulate the basic philosophy, the relationship between the government and Petronas? And I thought to myself, perhaps the best analogy would be uh, the relationship between a father and a son. The son who has reached, who's come of age, who is above 21. And if you're above 21, you want that freedom. You want the ability to make your own decision. But at the same time, that son has a filial duty to the father. Whilst the father respects the independence of the son, the son has that bonding with the father. And if we manage that relationship well, positively, then you'll find that it works to our mutual benefit. I can give you a few examples of this. And these are real examples, okay? Petronas's involvement in Turkmenistan. And you know Turkmenistan is led by President Guban Guli. He's a very interesting character, very strong, charismatic leader. And he told Tan Sri Samsul that if I didn't go as Prime Minister, then he's not going to launch that venture in the Caspian Sea. Meaning, he will give Petronas a tough time. So I remember Tan Sri Samsul coming hurriedly to my office and in a way pleading, please, make this visit. And because it came from the president of Petronas, I decided, look, this is an important investment for Petronas. The first time we are operating, constructing, operating an offshore gas field built by our own people. I decided I needed to go. And to cut a long story short, there are many interesting stories in between, of course. I won't relate it. But to cut a very interesting story short, after the visit, Tan Sri Samsul tells me it's plain sailing for Petronas. So that 